Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing another retro season review and it's going to be the 2002 New Zealand Warriors season. Before I get into the video, I'd just like to see that I'm currently at 438 subscribers, trying to get to 450 by the end of the year. I've been on about 438 subscribers for a couple of days now. I keep getting people that go subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe. It's very frustrating. I was getting 439 there for a moment, then back to 438. But um, looking to get to 450 by the end of the year. Thank you to everyone that's recently subscribed and thank you to everyone that supported my channel from the start of the year. Getting to this 2002 New Zealand Warriors season. In 2001, the club, they reached the finals for the first ever time, but they were destroyed by Parramatta in the first week of the finals. It was one of the biggest ever finals losses in the history of the game and a year earlier than that if you didn't already know this the Auckland Warriors were actually wound up and it was Eric Watson who bought the club out and renamed the New Zealand Warriors so it was a couple of um, turbulent years and a couple of good years for New Zealand 2002 though they played 24 games 17 wins seven losses, two buys, points differential of 243 plus. They finished as minor premiers that year, partly in help with the fact that Canterbury Bankstown were found guilty of salary cap breaches. If Canterbury Bankstown were not found guilty of salary cap breaches and that they, they were under the cap, they would have finished as minor premiers. But New Zealand cleaned their first minor premiership after finishing eighth the year before. Ivan Cleary, he was the top point scorer for 242 points. Clinton Torpy, or Clinton Toopy, however you pronounce it, he finishes the club's top try scorer with 18 tries. Daniel Anderson, head coach. Stacey, the little General Jones, he was the captain. The club finished on equal points with Newcastle. They finished 8 points in terms of foreign against above Newcastle, so that's how they cleaned the minor premiership. Round 1, they had the bye to start the year, which was very strange. Round 2, they beat Eastern Suburbs 21 points to 14. And then they had a loss. They come back in round 4. They beat North Queensland 50 points to 20. Sorry, Nick from Australia for that one. And then in round 5, they destroyed the Northern Eagles. Or should I say Manly? It was pretty much Manly. Masquerading under a different name. 68 points to 10, they thrashed them. And then between round fifty, uh, round five, I should say, and round fourteen, they only lost the one game, and that was against Canary Bankstown, who were over the salary cap, and we all know what happened to them. So they only lost one game between that time. And then in round twenty-six of the two thousand and two season, they played against West Tigers. They were coming third at that stage. They beat them twenty-eight points to twelve. They jumped in the first place. Won the minor premiership by just 8 points in the points differential. They hadn't come face for the entire year in New Zealand. So they stole it right at the last to become minor premiers. Going in the week one of the finals. It was under the old back and tire system. So first players played against 8th. And they played against Canberra in week one of the finals. They beat them 36 points at 20. In the preliminary final they played against a Cronulla side coached by Chris Anderson. And they beat them 16 points to 10 at ENZ Stadium, or as it was known back then, Telstra Stadium. Beat them 16 points to 10, reached their first grand final in only their second finals appearance. In the grand final, they played against Eastern Suburbs, Sydney Roosters. Um, Sydney Roosters had come fourth that year. Um, going into half time in that game, Eastern Suburbs held a 6 points to 2 half time lead. I remember watching this game at home. It could have gone either way. Second half, Stacey Jones. He scored probably one of the all-time great grand final tries in the modern era. He beat about six or seven players. Reese through scored. I remember Ray Warren going, New Zealand at level. New Zealand at level. And um, they were winning eight points of six. I think in the last 25 minutes of the game, now, I always remember this, and I've actually met this player in real life, Richard Villasanti. He hit Brad Fittler with a high tackle, whacked him around the head, and when he was falling on the ground, Richard Villasanti said, fucking come here, you, whacked him again, 
knocked him down and it was it was a bit of a dog shot all the Eastern Subways players got up they went fucking right we're, we're not going to stand for this like New Zealand got the ball back Richard Villasani took the hit up and Adrian Marley uh, as we all know what he's like he fucking just went come here whack smashed Richard Villasani knocked him down the the ball was lost Eastern Subway's got the ball back and I think that that whole sort of two to three minute moment Settled the grand final. The Eastern Subway players all rise with one. They went, we're not going to take this. You've just taken out our captain. Brad Fittler had this big bandage around his head. Eastern Subway's ended up winning the grand final. 30 points to 8. And it was um, a, a, a bad time for New Zealand fans. I mean, they could they could see the trophy. They could see the trophy there. But the, the Roosters come back in the second half. Won the game. It was their first premiership since 1975. Um, but I think in as a whole for the season, I think the New Zealand fans and the players were very proud of themselves for what they had achieved. At their own awards, Ali Lawati, he was named Player of the Year for New Zealand. Um, unfortunately, I think for New Zealand fans out there, they couldn't really build on what they'd done in 2002. 2003 they made the preliminary final but they finished sixth that year they lost against Penrith in that preliminary final and 2004 they finished 14th Daniel Anderson he was sacked as coach and that kind of ended that sort of golden period for New Zealand where they, they made the final 2001 2002 minor premiers 2003 preliminary final um, but I think if you were a New Zealand fan back there it, it certainly would have been a good time to be a, a supporter of the club. And um, that's me review for tonight of the New Zealand Warriors in 2002. If you enjoyed that review, make sure you like it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Try to get to 450 subscribers by the end of the year. And once again, thank you for watching the video. I'm signing off now. I'm Ruby League History. And I'll catch you all later in the next video. Alright, tell you bye now.